to meet a patriotic runner who runs every race carrying an American flag the whole time. He travels the U.S. crossing every finish line with Old Glory. Then he makes sure it goes to either veterans or the families of fallen soldiers. Yes, community journalist Chaz Miller is running the Chevron Houston Marathon this weekend. So Chaz has every flag there has a message. Every flag does have a message. We'll tell you more about it when the story airs in just a second. I know the main question a lot of you might have is how do you run 26.2 miles with a flag of this size in your hands? Well, I've got the honor flag runner with me. This is Mike Murphy. He's the guy you're about to meet. Mike, you say it's all about the wind. It is the wind, and I've got a counterweight in the bottom to keep it vertical and be respectful during flight. But uh, I basically will feel the wind as it's coming through and position the flag so that the wind is pushing the flag to my body and I have better reinforcement, better control. And you're constantly changing arms. Roger that. All right, I'm gonna let you go run and your run will magically end as soon as we come back on television. <laughs> Perfect. While you do that, take a look at this story. When I carry Old Glory on the runs, there's people that will say, thank you. I appreciate it. There's some that will stop and salute until I pass by. Honor Flag Runner is a name that I've given what I do. Carrie and Old Glory is an opportunity to say thank you. It's about who is receiving it, not who's running it. It's my honor to run. I believe the count is, a, is approximately 60 flags have been issued. In some cases, I might present the flag at the finish line. The most memorable event was a 72-hour run here in Cat Spring, Texas. For each 24-hour period, it was a different flag for a different Gold Star mom that I've met personally. Today, we're honoring Master Sergeant Skip Ramsey. And he is a veteran of the Army National Guard where he was deployed in Vietnam. Today, he's gonna to get the welcome home. Today, he's gonna to get the pat on the back. He's gonna get the salute he deserves. And I'm looking forward to visualizing what his reaction would be at 26.2. I use every opportunity to tell the story of who's being honored. I write the name, the date, and the event, branch of service or rank, white part of the flag between the grommets, so that when I'm in the middle of a run, I can point to that and say, today we're honoring, and then I'll tell the story that I know. I will argue, when people say that must slow you down, I'll argue with them and say, but, but the encouragement puts me up. I would not perform as well without it. That's not. All right, Mike, powerful, powerful stuff. Who are you honoring on this flag? So Sergeant Tony Trevino of the U.S. Marine Corps has served in Vietnam, and uh, he's getting the welcome home that he deserves. And so you're running the 5K this weekend and the full marathon. Yes, uh, Saturday is going to be for uh, Sergeant Trevino, and then Sunday is for Master Sergeant Ramsey, who uh, retired from the Texas State Guard some years ago. So he'll be there in full uniform, receiving the flag at the finish line. Awesome, cool stuff. And if you want to watch the marathon, ABC 13 is broadcasting it Sunday at 6 a.m. Leading up to Sunday, we've got all kinds of cool running stories. Tomorrow, also at 6 a.m., you'll meet a couple who've overcome all sorts of things, the Boston Marathon, bombing, uh, cancer, to keep on running. So reporting live from Northwest Harris County, I'm Chaz Miller, ABC, ABC 13 Eyewitness News. Hey.